to see you again. How is your pronunciation of Russian consonants? Hope you practiced a lot. Today we are going to talk about next Russian consonants. Here are they. Letter K, G and H. And now let's talk about the letter K. 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 Which makes sound K. 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 This sound and this letter are similar to English variant K and its sound K. Pay attention, this sound is voiceless. It means that your, your vocal cords do, don't work. And also, sound K, K is hard variant of letter K. How we pronounce it? The back part of our tongue lifts and presses against the soft palate at the back of the mouth. Because of the air which is going out back of the tongue comes off the palate and sound is produced. Letter K, K, K sounds K, K, K. Now let's look to the syllables with this letter. K, K. Ko, ko, ku, ku, ki, ki. And now please repeat after me. Ka, ko, ku, ki. Okay, and now second line. Ak, ak. Ok, ok, uk, uk, ik, ik. I will read now and you will repeat after me, please. Ak, ak, ok, ok, uk, uk, ik, ik. And now let's uh, look to new words for you with letter K. Here we have got three words. First word is cot. 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 It means cat. Next word is bunk. 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 This word means bank. It's the same, like in English language. And the last word for you with the letter K is word akno. 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 Which means window. Also, please pay attention to this word. This word has got two letter O. And as I already told that, in such variant, we should pay attention to the stress. In this word, akno, second letter O is under the stress. That's why first letter O we pronounce as A. One more time, akno, akno. Our next letter for today is letter G. G. G, which makes sound G, G, G. This is hard variant of letter G. How we pronounce it? The back part of the tongue is raised towards the back roof of the mouth. The tip of tongue doesn't touch the lower teeth. The airstream breaks the contact between the tongue and the back of the mouth. The vocal cords vibrate. The letter G, G, 
г саундс г г г pay attention that this is voiced sound and as usual let's look to the syllables with this letter first i will read ga ga go go gu gu gi gi and now please you after me ga go gu gi okay and now some words for you with this letter first letter is guba 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 stress to letter a guba this word means lip guba next word is galava 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 stress to last letter a that's why you know you already know the rule that if letter o is not under the stress we pronounce it as letter a that's why in this word first two o we pronounce as a one more time listen to me please galava this word means head and the last word is pagoda 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 which means weather weather pagoda stress is to the second o pagoda and our last letter for today is letter ha 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 which sounds h h h how we pronounce this sound the back part of the tongue raised high towards the roof of the mouth the tip of the tongue is taken backwards and doesn't touch the lower teeth the vocal cords don't vibrate this is voiceless sound letter ha 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 sounds h h h you will also feel strong stream of oxygen if you will put your hand um, in front of your mouth h h h let's read the syllables with this letter ha ha ho ho hu hu he he and now your turn ha ho hu he okay and the second line of syllables ach ach och och uch uch and now your turn ach och uch okay and the two words for you with this letter first word is hot 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 which means entrance please pay attention to the pronunciation of, uh, of the word hot first letter v we should pronounce as f and the second rule of reading of the russian words for you is that if in the end of word there is voiced 
letter, you should pronounce it as voiceless variant, as we did in this word. So, this here in the end you see letter D, but we should pronounce it as T. That's why entrance in Russian language we pronounce as вход. 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 And the next word is уха. 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 Which means ear. Pay attention, in this word also we have got letter O. And letter O is not under the stress. That's why we pronounce it as letter A. Уха. Уха. That is all what I wanted to tell you today about these five letters. V, F, K, G and H. Hope you understood everything and as I told before, if after watching this video you will have any questions, of course you can write the, your questions and of course I will answer to all of them. And as usual, in the end of our lesson, I want to ask you some questions to understand how did you understood today's material. And first my question is, tell me, letters F and K are voiceless or voiced? How do you think? You are quite right, these letters are voiceless. And can you give me uh, their voiced variants? Let's think what is uh, the voiced variant of letter F and what is the voiced variant of letter K. Voiced variant of letter F is letter V and couple for letter K is letter G. What sound does the letter G make? Letter G makes sound G. G. Okay, next question is the same, but about letter K. Which sound does this letter make? Its sound is K. K. And now I want to play with you some game. I will show you the pictures of today's words and you will try to name them uh, in Russian language. Let's try. This is the first picture. What can you see on it? What is it? This is vata. Vata. Vata means cotton. Next, next photo. Let's look what, what is this man doing? What is he taking? He is taking photo also. What is the Russian for photo? It is photo. Let's look to the next picture. What is this? This is galava. Galava. Head. Okay, you are quite right. And let's pay attention to the head and to this part of our head. What is it? How do we call this? What is it? In Russian language we tell that this is guba. Guba. Which means in English lip. Um, and now let's look to the next picture. On this picture we can see... What is it? It can be uh, in winter, in summer, in every season. It can be hot, it can be warm. Yes, you are quite right. This is pagoda. Pagoda. Weather. Okay. And again, now let's come back to our head. And what do we have on the sides of our head? On the left side and on the right side. What is it? Yes, this is uha, uha, ear. 
And how do we call cats in Russian language? Yes, you are quite right. This is kot. 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 Maybe some of you has got this pet in your homes. So, thank you for today's lesson. Thank you for your great job. Hope uh, you understood everything. And see you on next our lessons. Bye-bye.